Through the media. All right, what's the next topic? From Variety, Batwoman star Javicia Leslie has revealed the first look at Gotham's new hero, Ryan Wilde. Elder. The actor teased an image on Friday via Instagram in which she's suited up in her cape and cowl. Look out, Gotham, I'm suited up and ready to go, she wrote. But just wait until Ryan Wilder puts her own spin on the bat suit. Leslie will portray a new character on the CW series, described as a likable, goofy, and untamed character. She is nothing like her predecessor, Kate Kane, previously portrayed by Ruby Rose, who shocked fans when she announced her departure from the show in May. Um, I like likable Goofy. I do not like the wig they put her in. I mean, that's the wig. I mean, that's the what Ruby uh, Rose wears. That's the. It's that's not the a wig. good wig. It looks like a Party City wig. Like I, it it bothered me. It's it she it, it looks better face. in the cartoon and in the comic book. It looks it looks better, but when you see it live action, it took some u- getting used to. And um, mm. I watched season one of Batwoman. And when Ruby Rose, uh, who uh, her character is Bruce Wayne's cousin, by the way, when uh, she came around looking for Bruce, who's been missing as well. Coincidence. Hot White Batman is missing. Bruce Wayne hasn't been seen in a while. Nobody's curious about that. Mm, let's just keep moving. Past. Uh, but she puts the, the, the outfit on and it didn't she didn't put the wig on. It was just the regular uh, uh, like a. Uh, a Bruce Wayne that feels like you look like you've kind of toned down or trimmed down a little bit there, Batman. What's going? On? But it was it was uh, a whole thing. Great rap, Batman. Yeah, it, it was like a, it was like three or four episodes before she put the wig on, and uh, she did it just to to let people know I'm not Batman. I'm a, I'm a different person. I'm Batwoman, and that's what the that's the purpose of the wig. It's 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 gonna be weird what i'm about to say i don't know why i'm uh, i feel like i feel like i'm being <laughs> a little racist against my own people it's like it, it, it I, i've heard there's been a black bat woman before i don't i've never seen it on the uh like the comic book version or not but i don't know why that 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 wig throws me off so much with i just feel like a bunch of inappropriate maybe maybe people are going to be uh, uh thinking about all kinds of crazy messed up jokes and maybe i'm about to give them ammunition right now but all i feel like right now from seeing the image is a bunch of uh, inappropriate jokes about like weaves and stuff like they're stereotypical jokes that black mm-hmm. women get all the time and whatnot that's what it that's what it just when i saw the image i was like i mean she's a she's a uh, a beautiful woman and everything like that but the the, the second you put that the, the that wig on her, I was like, here come here come the all the jokes about weaves or this and that and the other. I feel like she's going to. Ruby Rose was already getting beaten up in the uh, in the fan in that fandom because of her acting ability and all that stuff. I can only imagine. And I didn't read the comments uh, this time. I didn't even want to go there. I can but I'm, I'm just wondering. I hope that however different she's going to be from kate from the kate character the uh, ruby rose character i hope Mm -hmm. it it's like it it blows people away like wow yes way better and whatnot and then people can be like get get past the fact that she's a black woman now taking on the but that the second i saw the wig on her i was like oh man i can only imagine those freaking comments but i don't know what was your first impression or what do you think well, if that's your instinct, and I didn't know that that was uh, just pretty directly what they had Ruby Rose in, and it's, you know, I, I my instinct was not racial. It was just like, that is just not a great wig for such a high budget, you know, what should be a pretty high budget costume. Right. And I do feel like between my initial instinct and certainly your initial instinct of, oh, this kind of almost makes me uncomfortable that this is going to be ammunition for people being awful it kind of feels like if your whole point is like she's a totally different character or she's a totally different person design her her own look yeah i and may and maybe she they maybe they will because i mean again when ruby rose when her character like came in uh when kate when when kate came in looking for bruce found out he was batman took the suit she wore the suit his suit she didn't change anything then later she was like mm-hmm. i want to put some extra this and that in it to let people know that this is not batman maybe 
you're cool. You know what? Maybe the, now, okay, now you got me thinking. They did that for her. Maybe they will do that. Maybe this is going to be the same situation. This person, for whatever reason, Kate's gone. For whatever reason, they're going to explain. She finds the suit. I mean, she, she's not going to probably have time to make some. Before, those people are dying out there. But before I go out there, I got to make some modifications with this. This wig ain't going to work for me. I don't think she's going to be thinking that. She's probably going to put it on as it is because she has to to get out there. And then maybe three episodes later, just like just maybe they well, maybe they will because for me I think you're right i would also just think if they were going to do that it would be in their own best interest mm. to maybe use the better promotional images when you're dealing with a casting switch that some people are already butthurt about yeah. like put your best foot forward you know and, and to me that was the only thing of like everything i've seen of this actress it's like oh she seems really cool i feel like that's an interesting direction to take a character like, like a little goofier and more likable yeah Put your best foot forward with your marketing materials. Don't undercut your actress with a party Cindy wig. Like, yeah, they they got to do better with that wig. That's got to be the one of the things that's go, gonna go. And, and maybe that's that. You you know what? You just help me put my fears to uh, to. Re then maybe they're gonna do the same thing with her. I don't like. Okay, I've been out in this suit a couple times. Uh, you know, people. You know, I, I don't, this wig ain't working for me. And as long as they don't give her like dreads or braids or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, yeah, I know they won't do that. But God, you never know sometimes. But um, I don't know, guys. Let me know what. Uh, what was your What was your first reaction when you saw the uh, the the image? You, did you read the comments out there? I was afraid to. Were they nice? Were they the same? Was it? Uh, is it? Are you one of those guys that's out there thinking? Let's just see what happens. Because trust me, there's a lot of people who already hate the show and want it to get canceled based on what happened in season one. So let's see if um, if they're going to move into a, a, a better direction. I'm going to definitely give it a chance. Supergirl already got canceled. So, you know, you know, we let's 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 give this a chance. Let, it's hopefully it'll, it'll you know, it'll it'll progress. And, um, and then, you know, maybe the whole franchise will get turned around. Let's find out. Put it in the box below, and, that's, uh, and we'll talk about it on We Got Your Mail. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and please drop a like on this video. It really does help us. Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, why is that trending, or We Got Your Mail.